Americans don't have ties of blood. We're not all one ethnic group. We're not all of one religion. So what does hold us together as a society? We're coming apart. Our institutions don't work. Our political system is so polarized. In times like this, we need stories that remind us of the ideals that hold us together. We aspire to be a country where immigrants can find opportunity. The same group of people that were against our Hispanic brothers and sisters coming in had grandparents that were immigrants. That's why we did what we did. A country where access to education can change everything. We've got to help these kids. We've got to be the ones that find the way. What does it mean to you, Nadir, whenever you hear the word American? That you're free to decide who you want to become. You don't join the military to be in one political party or not. But when a nation is in crisis, you serve. I met Mark through a friend of a friend who thought that the founder of Move On should meet the founder of the Tea Party Patriots. And you better believe I was dusting for days beforehand for that because I was anxious. I don't even know what liberals eat, so what do you prepare for liberals? Equal opportunity. I think that that's one of the cornerstones of our identity as a nation but has that promise never really been the reality. Do we really know truly what it means to be American when we study history and how many lives we be fed? The idea of patriotism in this country tends to be turning away, not looking, denying. But as an artist, I think that there's no greater love of a nation than to look for the places where we're not doing our best job. With so much diversity, we have to bond to a common sense of what we're trying to achieve. You have to understand what the common aspiration is. And I think we've lost sight of it.